Thank you for joining me. This is Flyman Mavic. This is a video for Dashware. Um, a couple of years ago, I did this video for the Phantom 2. I now have, as you know, a Mavic Mini and decided that I would like to run Dashware again. However, I did hit a very small problem. And that is the, the flight log files from the Phantom 2. Uh, completely different to the flight log files from the Mavic Mini. Uh, and it just didn't work. So off onto Google I went and I came across a thread on the DJI forum for the Mavic by a chap called 120 CCPM, who has given me some great advice, uh, a load of files, and basically works out how to do it. So I'm now going to pass on that knowledge to you. <laughs> Okay, so first off, uh, head to the Google link that's in the description below. When you get there, you're going to need to download the files. Just click on download. Click on download anyway. And click on save files. There you go. Once it's downloaded, you're going to need to extract them out. I've already done that uh, onto my desktop. And here they are now. Uh, first file we're going to deal with is the Dashware program itself. Dashware 1.737. Don't use Dashware 1.9 because you'll have to add uh, a soundtrack to any video you produce. Don't know why they've done it that way. Just double click it and then follow the install the program as it goes through the process. Now I've already installed it so I'll skip through this. Notice you will need Microsoft Net4 Framework. Uh, if you're not installed in your system then the installer will install Net Framework for you. Okay, once Dashware is installed, run the program and just click cancel. Now we're not going to do anything first of all because there's some things we need to do. So you just need to close out Dashware. The reason you do that is because it creates files in your documents folder here, Dashware and Dashware projects. If you don't run the program, they won't get uh, installed. First thing I need to do is copy some files from this folder into the Dashware folder. Now there is a readme text here that tells you which files to copy over. So what we need to do is we need to copy the XML file into Dashware data profiles. So find the XML file, which is there, and copy that into Dashware data profiles. So just drag it across, copy here. We also then need to take the custom types XML and copy that into the settings folder. Now, if I was too quick for you there, don't worry. There is a readme text here that tells you how to use it. Okay, now we can run Dashware again. And we just need to check that that has worked for us. So click Cancel. And then we're going to put in a new project. So go to File, New Project. And I'm going to call it for YouTube. There we go. Call it anything you like, really. It doesn't matter. First thing we're going to need to do then is click on this button here that says Data Files. And then you need to drop down the Edit Profile list and you're looking for this one, the DJI Mavic Mini Beta. If that's shown in there, then everything is working fine. Now, we're not going to do any more in Dashware. We now need to grab all the relevant files that you need uh, for the actual program itself. The files that we're going to need are the following. We're going to need the files from your phone. That's your flight log file. We're also going to need the video file that you recorded either from your camera uh, on your quad or if you want to use a screen recording that's fine so i'm going to click on this pc and we're going to go to my galaxy s7 edge i'm going to go into there and we're going to find a file in the dji folder and it's in dji go.v5 and then you're going to go into flight record and here is the flight record i want so i'm going to go right click and copy i'm then going to go to documents Dashware, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call that YouTube because that's what we're going to be doing today. Once we've done that, go into there, right click and paste. And that's that done. Now, next thing you want, of course, is the video because that's what the most important part is. Now, I already have the video uh, which I'm going to be using. This is in my field test here and it is there. So I'm going to just quickly copy that back into. YouTube, you'll of course copy that either from your uh, quads SD card or if you've done a screen recording, etc. So that copy over and once it's done, there we go. Okay, now then, this file at the moment is no good to Dashware, it doesn't work. We need to convert it into a CSV file. 
And uh, CCPM again has given us the tool that we need. It's here, this text log to CSV tool. Just double click it to run. And then what we want to do is click open and then browse to the folder, which is in documents, dashware, YouTube. Double click on that one. And as you can see, it's now ready. We want to save that. I'm going to save it into the same thing and we're going to call it YouTube. That's all we're going to call it. Click on save and then click the go button. And bing bang bosh, there we go. Okay, done. And exit from that. You now see we have a CSV file. We can actually open that in Microsoft Excel. And we'll just take a quick look so you know what it is. Across the top uh, are all sorts of columns. And these are the information that Dashware uses in its gauges. I won't go through them all. Uh, feel free to have a browse through if you want to. Okay, so with those files sorted, we can now start building our Dashware project. So launch Dashware, click cancel, go to file and open project. Let's click OK on that one. First thing we want to do is add the video file. So click the plus button for add video file to project. And we need to go into uh, Documents, Dashware, uh, YouTube, and get the produce. There we go, click open. That then puts the video in the screen there. And as you can see, if you slide the bar across, you can actually see the video. Next thing we need to do is add the data file. We'll click plus again, click on browse. It should say it's the same folder where you got the video file from, and it's the CSV file. Remember, not the text file, it's the CSV file. Highlight it, click open. You'll notice the data profile instantly gets chosen as the Mavic Mini Beta. If it doesn't, you haven't done something right somewhere. Click Add, and then wait for it to load in here, and that's it. We are now ready to start adding gauges to the project. Okay, adding gauges is quite simple. Uh, in Dashware, click on Gauge Toolbox. Click this arrow here, it Import Gauges, and you're going to need to browse to the folder you extracted the files to. So mine were on Desktop, Dashware Files. All the ones here marked Dashware files are the ones you want to import. And unfortunately, you have to do them one at a time. So simply highlight it and click Open. And then click the Add button. Now, I've already imported them, so I won't click Add or I'll end up with another one. Once they've imported, in Gauge Toolbox, if you just type in DJI in the filter, you'll see all the gauges are all here for you. To add a gauge onto the file, simply take the, file, uh, the, the gauge. Uh, hold down your left click and drag it onto your project. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can move it anywhere you want on the screen. Go to project. I'm going to get rid of these. I don't want these. So I'm going to just click on that one and click the X button. Same with that one. I don't want that. And I don't want that. I just want my gauge on there in the middle of the screen like that. There you go. Ooh, don't want to do that. We'll come to editing gauges another time. Once that's done, you have to now synchronize your flight with your flight log. This is the important part, and I'll explain it. If you start recording before you start the motors, then there's going to be some difference between the video flight and the actual flight log, because the flight log only starts once you start the motors. So you go, dink, start recording. Three seconds later, you start the motors. There's going to be a delay of three seconds. So what you'll need to do is use the sync here. Uh, just drag the bar across until you find the part where the quad would normally take off and then click sync with video. Now, I don't need to because mine is actually right pretty much bob on. I just have to just move it until 98 appears there. Once you're happy, uh, click sync with video and then go back to project. And if you drag the bar across, you'll then see my battery start to count down all the way until it reaches 10% when I landed, well, 9% when I landed. That's easy. Um, you can have a play with the gauges. Uh, this one, for instance, uh, I built this one. This is the gimbal uh, tilt function, and I just put that up there. And if I just play back to the video, you'll see a little green bar appear. And when it's pointing down, it goes all green like that. And if I just let the video play, as the camera tilts back up again, you'll see the gimbal pitch decrease. Let's find out when that does. Flew over the trees. And tilt the camera back up again. 
Come on, why'd I do it? Did it air somewhere? Oh, there it jumped then. Why that video jump a little bit then? There we go. Video jumped because in dashware. There you go, see the gimbal pitch decreases as the camera comes up. Slightly out of sync at the moment because I haven't set this up accordingly, but there you go. Um, this is what happens if you don't get your uh, flight log to synchronise properly. I'm going to stop that there. Wind that back to the beginning. Synchronisation is important. It's usually best if you're going to do a file like this where maybe use the, the gimbal pitch. Um, take off, put the quad in the air and then tilt the camera down. And you can then see, you can use that point of reference to set the uh, synchronisation with the video. That's it. Don't forget to use the file uh, save projects button frequently while you're doing things just in case dashware crashes out or something happens with your computer. Have a look at the gauges. Uh, let's just have a look at this one. You want to edit a gauge. There are two ways of editing the gauge. If you edit the gauge in the gauge toolbox, it becomes a permanent. You can, however, if you want to, just edit the gauge in your project using the little spanner icon here. Uh, let's say, for instance, I want to change the colour of the text. Uh, highlight the text and then use the little hammer icon again over here. And you can then change the text font colour using that option there. So let's change that to, let's say, yellow. There we go. And then all you would do then is click File. Oops, I click OK on that. Just click File and Save Gauge. And when you go back to your project, you'll now see... The text has changed to yellow. You can change the sizes, of course, anytime you want. You can make any changes you want to it. Remember, changes made in the gauge toolbox are permanent, so maybe leave those a point of reference. Uh, and then any gauges made in any gauge change made in the project here are just for this project. If you're happy with a particular gauge after you've changed it, you can export it. Simply highlight it, click this button at the end here, export project gauges and give it a name so we'll call that uh, DJI Gimbal Yellow like that you see and then click the save button you can of course then remove that and you can then re-import it so you can click add uh, oh not add sorry cancel you need to import it from um, oh from Gaze Toolbox sorry go to Gaze Toolbox click the import button and there it is there and then give it a unique name. So DJI Gimbal Yellow. There you go. Click Add. You then got one there, which is yellow, and that one, which was red. Simple as easy as that. Now, some last final pointers for Dashware. It is incredibly, incredibly temperamental. Um, it's never been finished. It's never been polished. Um, it, it was abandoned by the, the creators, and then there's very little help available other than what you can find on Google. So my recommendation is quite simply, if you're having a problem, just start again from scratch. Get rid of everything and reload and start again from scratch. I've had several issues uh, with some of my flight log files. Uh, they just didn't want to work. Dashware through a fit. If there's, you know, if there's, if there's something wrong with a flight log file in any way, Dashware just seems to have a complete spaz about it. But, you know, don't give up. Because once it's done, uh, you can end up with something along these lines. Bear with me a second whilst I open a project. Uh, I'll save changes that for now. And if I click on new gauge test and click OK, let the project load up. This was one I did earlier. As you can see, I've got the DJI logo, satellite lock, battery level, battery temperature. I don't think that works quite right. Uh, the Mavic Mini has two cells, so there's the two cells there, and that's the total cell voltage here. Uh, percentage of battery use is the same as that one. That is the old Phantom 2 or Phantom 3 batteries. Uh, recording time here, uh, gimbal pitch, and this one is the, um, the way the sticks move. If I just sort of make that a bit bigger and put that in the middle of the screen there, and if we play through, you will see little red dots move accordingly. There we go. I'm pressing the right stick forward to go forward now. And then I'll just skip through to another part. Uh, let's go. We're still going forward, as you can see. Come to a stop. And then I'm going to go. See the temperature gauge is going a little bit batty. I'm not quite sure what's causing that. You go left stick to left to your. In actual fact, um, I've actually done a, a video uh, of that actual flight here. Uh, it's called the Mavic Mini Gauge Test Using Dashware. 
I'll put a link to this video. Um, I basically took a 30 minute flight, compress it down to three minutes. I'll just show you a quick, quick pass of it. As you can see, sweet. I won't play it all, as I said, I'll put a link down below. And if you want to watch this video, uh, then feel free to. You know, there's, there's so many gauges you can have. Uh, you can adapt all the gauges uh, in the toolbox. Um, there's quite a few you can have. Um, on here, uh, there is actually a UAV section. If you scroll down, you will find uh, altitudes, um, analyst bar. That's a good one. It's got speed, vertical mile per hour, uh, altitude above sea level, uh, UAV cluster. That one's a good one. You can, you can take these and you can adapt them. If you want to adapt one, just click on it. Click on the little hammer icon and you can have a look at how they go together. And you can make changes to them uh, any way you want, basically. So that's it, uh, Dashware for the Mavic Mini. Again, thanks to CCPM uh, for his help uh, with all the files, etc. Uh, if you do create an interesting gauge, um, drop me a link in the comments and say, you know, uh, to a link to a, a, a Google uh, Drive or a Dropbox, whatever. And uh, in a, about a year's time, I'll, if I've had any uh, any new gauges, I'll do another video and show the gauges that you put on the uh, on for me uh, quite happily. But in the meantime, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Fly my Mavic saying, as always, fly safely.